All right, guys, in this video, we're going to understand a very important concept, which is called as viewport height. Now, since we are designing in 1440, let's zoom in over here. So here is what I have, an image, okay, where this and 900 is the height of the MacBook uh, screen, right? And 1440 is the width. So I define a height to be 1440 pixels. And this text is going to be in the center of this image at all times, right? That's the property that I have defined. Now this looks pretty cool. And this section, you know, is called above the fold, which means that this is what you see before you scroll on your monitor or your desktop or laptop or whatever. All right. Now this looks pretty fine. All right. Let's go to the another, let's go to another breakpoint where, which is bigger, which is maybe a windows laptop, which is 1920 by 1080, right? The height is longer here. The height is 900, but here it's 1080. Now, because we ended up defining a height of say 900, of here, the height is still going to be 900 over here. And we're going to have this extra ugly space, right? And people might think that the website is over, like the website is completed. Let's go to another one, which is 3840 by 2160. This is a MacBook. This is a, you know, like a 4K resolution. This is above the fold. This is what you're going to see before you start scrolling. And over here, you can see that the height is 900. And we've got this huge amount of ugly space. Let's go to another one. I'll take a smaller version, which is 1280 by 720. Now 700, 720 is smaller than 900. And you can see that the image is getting cut off because we ended up defining a height of 900, right? And the text also is towards the bottom because it's in the center of the image, right? Now these are all the problems that you're gonna get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly gonna go ahead and just copy this to kind of make sure that you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna come over here, okay? And, uh, and I'm going to say image height. I'm going to go ahead and say height 900 pixels. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is make a duplicate of all this. Okay. I'm going to come down over here. Now, rather than saying height to be 900, I'm going to go ahead and say 100 VH and VH stands for viewport height. Okay. What that means is the height of the element is going to change depending on the viewport height. In this case, the viewport height is 720, which means this image is going to go and automatically change itself to 720p height because we said 100 VH. All right. Let's go to 1080p. Right? This is going to increase because we said 100 VH, right? Let's take a look at this one. This is also going to increase because we said 100 VH. Now it looks good on this, this, and this, but it kind of doesn't look good on this, right? And uh, we don't want it to look so huge. Right? It just says Robin Williams, so small in the center and you know, there's nothing else. So what we can do is we can define another property and say max height, we can give it a pixel value, which means we can say 1080 pixels, which means now what's going to happen or even what we can go ahead and just for the sake of understanding, we can set this to 1200 pixels. So now what's going to happen? is that it's going to respect the height of 100 VH, all right? It respects the height of 100 VH. It respects the height of 100 VH. It respects the height of 100 VH, all right? And we give a max width of 1200. But over here, it's still going to say 100 VH, but it's going to restrict itself to 1200 pixels, right? So if I go ahead and set this to 1200, it's going to restrict itself to that much. Now 1200 is bigger than 1080. So it's going to go beyond 1080, but stop at 1200 pixels. Now these are values that you need to define. All right. So as you can see clearly that this is the difference. Um, let me go ahead and just get these texts and I am going to go ahead and just add them over here. And I'm going to say, this is going to be pixel value. Okay. And this is going to be, I, I'm not sure what the technical terms are, but I'm going to call this 
variable height. All right, so this is variable height, and this is going to be fixed height. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over here, right, and do the same thing over here. There you go. So that's the difference between having a fixed height and having a variable height. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Now, once you can understand viewport height, we're going to go into the hero section and design that in Figma. So I'll see you guys in the next video.